The Prime Minister Narendra Modi has made his first visit to Indian-administered Kashmir since his government revoked the region's special status in 2019. Well, his visit focused on developmental projects and also set the tone for his party's campaign in the Muslim-majority region just weeks before the country's election schedule is expected to be announced. Priyata Prejabasi reports. This was Narendra Modi's first official visit to Indian-administered Kashmir in five years and the Prime Minister highlighted the development in the region since the scrapping of Article 370 from the Constitution in 2019. That article had granted semi-autonomy to Jammu and Kashmir. Modi claimed that since it was removed, Kashmir has seen a new era of development and prosperity. Jammu Kashmir keval एक क्षेत्र नहीं है ये जम्मू कश्मीर भारत का मस्तक है साथियों एक जमाना था जब देश में जो कानून लागू होते थे वो जम्मू कश्मीर में नहीं लागू हो पाते थे एक जमाना था जब गरीब कल्याण की योजनाएं पूरे देश में लागू होती थी लेकिन जम्मू कश्मीर के मेरे भाई बहन उनका लाभ उनको नहीं मिलता था और अब देखिए वक्त ने कैसे करवट बदली है ये वो नया जम्मू कश्मीर है जिसका इंतजार हम सभी को कई दशकों से था Addressing more than 135,000 people, both in person and virtually, Modi announced development projects worth more than 770 million US dollars, including skill redevelopment training for farmers and tourism projects. Experts say the Prime Minister's visit carries a tremendous impact on ordinary people who want peace and opportunities in the conflict-ridden, disputed region. And the fact that this visit also conveys a very significant message uh, both uh, to the Indians, to the Kashmiris, as well as to the rest of the world, that Kashmir is an integral part of India. A lot of things that were applying in the rest of India with regard to developmental funds, developmental opportunities, or reservations, etc., were not available to the people of Kashmir, which have now become available under that. The scrapping of Article 370 was a bold promise of Modi's, who claimed the region's lagging development was due to its special status, which prevented laws and policies of the union government to be implemented. Critics say Modi's visit is not being celebrated by all Kashmiris. Many are still upset that the state's autonomy was revoked. Regional parties have been demanding the restoration of statehood for Jammu and Kashmir, a region of 12 million people. And security was increased during his visit with a four-layer security cordon and multiple checkpoints in a region that is already one of the most militarized zones in the world. Experts say Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Kashmir was primarily meant to lay the groundwork for the Bharati Janata Party ahead of the upcoming general elections. He criticized the Congress and the regional parties for failing to bring peace and prosperity during their long tenures in power. Mr Modi's Bharati Janata Party has never won a parliamentary seat in the Kashmir region, something that he aims to change this time around. Priyata Brajbasi, CNA, New Delhi.